All right, Eli, congratulations on, on the first win of the season. Man, talk about the night out there. That, that was a crazy mix of conditions. It was. I mean, the, the whole day in general was, was mud. Um, but it was like we got every every type of mud you could get. You know, it started with with this just rain rain mud, like where it was. There was a lot of you know standing water on the track that was with practice, and we were actually getting around it pretty well. You know, getting through the rhythms. Um, you know, doing even the triple and the finish line, and then and then the rain stopped, and then it just like turned into like crazy. Uh, I don't even know, like peanut butter, just play-doh stuff, to where it gets super heavy and really tough to ride. Um, you know, and then the, the ruts start burning in. That's what makes it really hard is when the ruts start burning in, and then you got the slick mud on top. So it, it really just got harder to ride all night. It was interesting looking down the starting line. You know, everybody looked like they were pretty much on traditional knobs out there rather than paddles. Yeah, and I don't know what that is um, between the, the paddle and the, you know, the normal knobbies. Um, I, I preferred the normal knobby. Um, it just... Well, it just it kind of depends on the on the style of mud, right? Like you know, this there's still there's some base there, so you want that the hard pack knob. But uh, if it was like a more of a sandy mud, I think that's where the paddle would you know would benefit. You had the spookiest last lap out there, um, all yeah. kinds of things going on. It was, of course, it was on the last lap, right? Like guys falling everywhere. I was going extra slow to like stay up, and then uh, probably three turns to go, another guy tips over. It sprays me with mud. I just can't see anything. And of course, I'm going into a bunch of more ruts. And I like had to stop to pull my, my, uh, you know, my roll off there. I'm like, man, these guys are probably close at this point. I mean, one time I had a sizable lead. It was probably 20 seconds, and then it was down to a little less than five at the end. Did it raise the pulse rate a little there? It did. I mean, I, I knew I had a gap, but I didn't realize they got that close. Man, it's been a very uncharacteristic season for you. Talk talk about the highs and lows in there so far, and. You know, the question got asked at the, the beginning of the season about back injury, and then at the time it, the answer was no. Yeah. But but now you, you you look like you've been getting better. So yeah, it wasn't the ideal start of the season. Um, yeah, I I crashed in early December, and and hurt my back, and I was on the bike for um, it was actually closer to four weeks. It was four weeks I wasn't on the bike, so or just under. Um, it was it was pretty scary. Luckily, I had a really good base from November, um, and I rode four days on the motorcycle before Anaheim won. Um, so yeah, I felt like I was. I mean, I I really was kind of behind the the ball, you know. Um, and luckily, we've we've stayed within touch, and now we've you know cranked off a win here at round five. I think this is so. Um, gosh, I, you know, I was just hoping to be in touch once we did start going east. So pretty cool spot to be in now and fortunate about that injury well i appreciate the time here and uh we'll see you in, inside a dome next week all right see ya